How low can the Obama administration go? I stopped asking that question a year ago. Never before has America tolerated so many felonies, so many lies, and so many dead Americans simply because they don't have the courage to challenge a black president. Today the question is this, has the Obama administration joined Al-Qaeda in their war against civilization? You all remember Al-Qaeda, don't you? The monsters who flew planes into the World Trade Center, and we got to watch 3,000 people die horribly. Some of them were videoed falling to their deaths onto the New York pavement. In Investors Business Daily is now reporting that a convicted Al-Qaeda member has been hired by the IRS and given access to the sensitive financial data of millions of Americans. Mohammed Weiss Rasul is no stranger to evil. Several years ago, he got a job as a law enforcement officer in Fairfax County and used that position to access a national criminal database and passed information to terrorists who were being investigated by the FBI. So what does the Obama administration do? They give him a job with the IRS, who are, I believe, preparing an offensive against God and country Americans. Funny how after the 9-11 attacks, liberal Democrats so lovingly adopted Islam. Whenever there's a brutal attack by Islamic killers, the Democrats' first concern is to protect Muslims from any possible backlash. Valerie Jarrett, the woman in the White House who orchestrates Obama's policies, was born in Iran and has Islamic ties. Hillary Clinton defiantly has Muslim Brotherhood representatives on her staff, even after evidence shows that the Muslim Brotherhood was involved in the Benghazi attack. And gee, what a coincidence that Hillary's department reduced the Benghazi security just prior to that attack. Obama has shut down investigation of mosques in the USA and has placed severe restrictions on monitoring potential terrorists in this country. Eric Holder, America's top federal law enforcement officer, has told Muslims not to cooperate with American law enforcement. What? <laughs> With all these dots connecting the Obama administration to terrorists, you would think that journalists would be buzzing the White House like bees. But no, apparently American journalists are content to just report what the White House tells them to report. So remember, when Al-Qaeda hits us again, it'll be because the Obama administration was watching us instead of them. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.